Welcome to this week's TDD Weekly Report for the week ending December 31st. That's the end of the year 2011, and thank you very much for those few of you that are actually taking a break from the celebrations to bother to come by and watch the TDD Report. I've got a cool picture here. If you've seen some of the specials on the Discovery Channel or the Learning Channel, especially focusing on astronomy and pictures of the center of our galaxy. Most galaxies at the very center, and they believe maybe all galaxies, have a supermassive black hole. The pictures I've seen have been in the infrared of the center of our galaxy. The images are rather pixelated of the different stars circling around the supermassive black hole. On the astronomy picture of the day from a couple of days ago, they have an artist's rendering of the different orbitals of the stars that are circling around in tight formation around the center of the supermassive black hole. Some of them are actually traveling at several percent speed of the speed of light, so that is kind of cool too. And they've also discovered that there's a nebula that is orbiting, and they've got that tracked out too with a red orbit. I'll put the picture up there, and then I'll put a link to the higher quality picture, but this nebula has gas being drawn off of it, and eventually, I guess, is going to be swallowed up by the hole, uh, the black hole in the center. The black hole actually looks bright white, and the reason why it would look bright white, even though it's a black hole, is as it's swallowing the matter, um, it's being torn apart, and all kinds of different wavelengths are being thrown out as this matter is being ripped apart, including x-rays, light waves, and pretty much every kind of part of the spectrum is being thrown out in different energy frequencies. So to actually look at it, if you could look at it, even though it's a black hole, all around the black hole, you would see very bright white light. Next up, this was sent to me by Desmo DC Alice, and this is somebody that's working on another way to resurrect the dinosaurs. Uh, the title of the article is Jurassic Park Scientist Aims to Hatch a Dinosaur Using DNA from Birds. He's going to start with, I guess, an emu, and then go from the emu to changing the DNA and modifying it to, to make a dinosaur kind of creature from scratch, which may actually beat out these other people trying to use the actual DNA from dinosaurs. Uh, the only thing about the article as I was reading it too is this scientist said that he needs a couple of experts to really help him out and I think the way he's describing this he doesn't really have, he just has more or less the idea, he doesn't have the knowledge behind being able to even create this creature from an emu that looks somewhat like a, a I guess he wants to make it look somewhat like a velociraptor. So he's calling on a couple of other scientists with expertise in their particular field to help him out with this so that it can happen. So I think he's just the idea man and he needs a lot of help. This is from the dailymail.co.uk. And my third and final story, this is from the BBC news section, bbc.co.uk. Hackers plan space satellites to combat censorship. A lot of you are aware of the SOPA law coming up that's going to restrict the internet even further. Well, a group of uh, online uh, computer club people from Germany, Berlin, I believe. Uh, I'll just read a little bit of the article here to let you know what they're up to. The Berlin Conference was the latest meeting held by the Chaos Computer Club, which is pretty well known in the hacking community, a decades-old German hacker group that has proven influential not only for those interested in exploiting or improving computer security, but also for people who enjoy tinkering with hardware and software. They're talking about possibly launching amateur satellites to have our own... Uh, I don't know what you would call it, maybe something like a black market web or an underground web or something like that to where we don't have to put up with the censorship and it seems like the internet itself has already turned into the corporate internet and freedom of speech is just an afterthought once in a while but not really paid much attention to. So if we could, as hackers ourselves, set up some kind of an underground internet, even if it would be something like ground repeaters too, the main thing would be making them cheap enough to actually be worth it because you know very well the authorities would try to shut that down. So if we could get some kind of either repeaters in the sky on satellites, balloons, maybe even something you could uh, put up anywhere in a forest in a tree or something like that as a little uh, less than hundred dollar package and then uh, interconnect them and then have people connect them up to their computers individually. Uh, we do basically, I, th I think it's getting close to a lost cause what they're doing with the internet anyway so if we want a truly free and uncensored internet we're gonna have to find out a way to do it ourselves. I know other people have the ideas of tunneling through the present internet with uh, heavy encryption and stuff like that which can work for a time but never really gives you a heck of a lot of time because you know the people with all the computer power and the supercomputers are always the uh, authorities. So anyway that's just an idea if we could come up with some kind of an idea for a truly uncensored internet I think that would be a great thing. 
So, thank you for during the holidays stopping by to watch the last TDD report of this year, and I will catch you guys next week.